We are back, folks, for my Christmas Special 2017 Edition with Jeopardy! Platinum Edition for the Game Boy. Let's see how I do. Take it on Matt this time around. Controller. What categories do we have? We have First Ladies, Travel and Tourism, Music, State Trees, Theater, Flowers. First Ladies 100. When she met Abe, he said he wanted to dance with her in the worst way. And she said later he did. Who is Mary Todd Lincoln? Oh. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. No, there's no K there. It's an L. First ladies for 200. Lovely Julia Tyler was a native of this state, where she was known as the Rose of Long Island. What is New York? First Lady's 300. Daily Double, I'll do 500. This silver fox is proud of her white hair and refuses to dye it. Who's Barbara Bush? First Lady's 400. Wilson and this other first lady were both born in Georgia. Who is Rosalind Carter? First lady for 500. I have a lot of cash sitting in front of me right now. She attended Miss Porter's school in Farmington, Connecticut from 1944 to 1947. Who is Jacqueline Kennedy? There we go. Ran the category. Look, it was nothing. Uh, let me have flowers for 200. For 100, I mean. The first planting of this flower in Holland reportedly was at the University of Leiden in 1593. What's the tulip? Flowers, 200. discovered in Mexico in the 16th century and named for botanist Andreas Dahl. What's the Black Dahlia? Or I'll just say what's the Dahlia. The Black Dahlia I think is just the name of a movie. Yeah, just the Dahlia. Flowers 300. I have two grand. The Damask variety of this flower or Yields ad adder, an essential oil used in perfumes. <laughs> Looking for the rose. Flowers 400. 
Also called the yellow daisy, it's Maryland state flower. Oh, Marty would know this one, but I don't know it. So, Marty, if you're watching this, if you want to give me a redneck spanking, you have my permission. It's the black-eyed Susan. Uh, I never would have come up with that. But Matt got it right, we go to the next clue. Traveling Tourism 100. Originally called the Grand Coeur, it's Paris' most celebrated thoroughfare. What is the... Arc de Triomphe? Or is it the Champs-Élysées? I'll say what's the Champs-Élysées. Or the Elysian Fields. Elysian Fields. Let's go with the Elysian Fields. No. I get this clue wrong every time. I keep forgetting. Oh well. It's either the Champs in his or the Arc de Triomphe. The Champs Elysees, my original hunch. Should have trusted it, but I didn't. Oh well. In this island group, you can tour the tortoise hatchery at the Charles Darwin Biological Station. What are the Galapagos Islands? Travel and tourism for 300. An annex of Italy's Basilica of San Francesco contains the tomb of this divine poet. I will say who is Dante Alighieri. Traveling Tourism 400. The Mozartium is one side of this Austrian city's famous music festival. What is Salzburg? Travel and tourism for 500. The Athens Summer Festival offers plays and concerts at the Herodes Atticus Theater on this hill. The Acropolis. Oh yeah, that was my guess. But I didn't think about it in time. But Matt doubles his money to a thousand, and we still have some clues left. It evolved from a similar lute-like instrument called the mandala. What's the mandolin? Music 200. A, son a sonatina is a little one of these. A sonatina is a little one of these. What's a sonata? <laughs> Music 300. <laughs> on a piano, the soft one of these is usually on the left side. What's a pedal? Music 400. 
cash increases. The, this clef is also known as the F clef. I have it between two of them. But I'm going to say what's a treble clef. Ah, uh, I bet it's the bass clef. Ah, uh, foop. Ugh, foop. Ugh. I have a $2,000 lead over Matt at this point in the game. I have $3,000 sitting in front of me. Yeah, the bass clef. Oh, well. Music 500. Let's just get it out of the way. It's believed that the triumphs of Oriana, Madrigal's glorified this Tudor queen. Oh, foop. I don't know. Matt, do you know? Elizabeth I. Ah, foop. You have half of what I have. State tree's 100. The scientific name of this state's official tree is Sequoia Sempervirens. Oh, which state's tree is the Sequoia? For some reason, I think it's California. And I would have been right. Eh. Don't got it. Oh, well. Next clue. Georgia's state tree is not the pecan, but the live variety of this. I'd say the peanut tree, but I don't think there is such a thing. The oak tree. Good thing. Theater 100. Hamlet describes this country as a prison. Something is rotten in it, too. What is Denmark? Theater 200. John Dryden wrote a 1677 play, All for Love, in this kind of verse, also favored by Shakespeare. It's either free verse or light verse. I'll just say what is free verse. It's light verse. Ah. Starting to slip a little bit. That can't happen. Blank verse, so I would have been wrong either way. Theater for 300. Perhaps in response to the gloom of World War II, he wrote the light comedy Blind Spirit in six days. Who is Noel Coward? And that'll put me at double what Matt has. Theater 400. Theater 400, I mean. Murder in the Cathedral premiered in this city where the play is set. I have it between two of them. But I'm going to say what is Paris. It's London. Ah. Ooh, I'm getting clues right and wrong, left and right. Looking for Canterbury, England. Oh, I would have been wrong either way again. Theater 500. This great Russian acting teacher played Satan in Gorky's 1902 play, The Lower Depths. 
Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Konstantin Stanislavski. All right. State trees 300. Nevada has two state trees, the bristlecone and pine and varieties of this. The pine tree, yeah, I would have been right. Oh well. Flowering state tree of Missouri and Virginia. The dogwood, okay. Two clues left. South Carolina state tree, its leaves can be used to make baskets and thatch roofs. What is the palmetto? <laughs> now the last clue. <laughs> it's the floral emblem of Japan's imperial family. The chrysanthemum. All right. Let's play Double Jeopardy. Fashion for 200. In the Arctic, this hooded jacket is standard gear for an Eskimo. What's a parka? Fashion 400. In 1913, the Jensen Company came out with the first one piece one of these. One piece? Is it a suit? Bathing suit. Should have been, would have had to have been more specific. Fashion for six. By World War One, top hats had lost favor in England due to these rounded hats with a covered brim. I'm going to say what are berets. Ah, no. Oh, a bowler. Fashion 800. On a woman's clothing label, a P indicates this size. I'll say what is small. Oh, no. I'm slipping. Petite. Oh, well, it is small, but they were going for petite. Let's just close out fashion, get it out of the way. Sal pants are the French version of this one piece outfit with long pants and sleeveless bib top. For some reason, I think it's a jumpsuit.
overalls. Oh, okay, good. Well, we have slang, U.S. cities, 1960, the planets, or the comics. The comics 200. With over 2,000 newspapers in 68 countries, this Charles Schultz strip is the most widely syndicated. What is peanuts? The comics 400. This cop's associates have included Sam Ketchum, Pat Patton, and Liz the Policewoman, who is Dick Tracy. Comic 600. This Walt Kelly strip began as a comic book feature, Bumbazine and Albert the Alligator. What is Pogo? The Comics 800. This horrible Viking character created by Dick Brown first appeared in February 1973. Who is Hagar the Horrible? I'll just say who is Hagar. The comic's a thousand. This title character created by Lee Falk is known as the Ghost Who Walks. We're looking for the Phantom. Slang 200. Happy Hunting Ground is slang for this afterlife locale. What is heaven? Slang for 400. A conjuncture is a shot in this. What is the dark? Slang for 600. Kiwi is slang for someone from this country. What's New Zealand? That'll give me double what Matt has at the moment. Oh, foop. There we go. Slang for 800. This is the big sleep, or the big chill. What is death? Slang for a thousand. Six thousand dollars is what I have right now. Rocks for Jocks is slang for an introductory college course in this subject. What is geology? Alright, ran the category. $7,000. Alright, we have three categories left. I will take 1960-200. Launched by the U.S. in August, Echo One was the world's first communications one of these. 
What's a satellite? Nineteen sixty for four hundred. In May, this Minnesota senator conceded the Democratic presidential race to JFK. It's not Joseph McCarthy, because he's from Wisconsin. Well, Matt doesn't have a clue. What a shame. <laughs> Hubert Humphrey. Hubert Humphrey. 1960 for 600. On May 7th, Nikita Khrushchev confirmed the identity of this downed U-2 pilot. And we were looking for... Francis Gary Powers. 1964, 800, please. Daily Double. Just to play it safe, I'm going to wager nothing. Nazi official living in Argentina as Ricardo Clement, who was captured and taken to Israel. Adolf Eichmann. Well, I didn't wager anything, so I'm not going to lose anything. Let's go with 1960 for a thousand, please. In January, mobs rioted over de Gaulle's moves toward this country's independence. Algeria. Oh, okay. Well, Matt got that one right. Now he chose me by just four thousand dollars. With 112 square miles, Queens is the largest of its five boroughs. What is New York City? U.S. Yes, City's 400. With a population of over 39,000, Burlington is this state's largest city. What is Vermont? U.S. cities for 600. It was the capital of the Arkansas Territory. Now it's the state capital. What is Little Rock? U.S. Yes, City's 800. Daily Double. Oh, uh, let's look at two Daily Double. This city is home to the annual King Orange Jamboree Parade. I'm pretty sure it's Miami. Yep. Your city's a thousand. The capital of the Pelican State. What is Baton Rouge? Ran the category.
17-8 in the game now. Let's just go to uh, the planet 200. The planet with 100% cloud cover that's closest to the sun. What is Venus? Four hundred. The most distant planet that can ever be seen with the naked eye. What's Neptune? Ah, oh, I bet it's Uranus. Boop. Oh, well. Yeah, it's Uranus. 600. Its rings begin about 4,000 miles above the surface and are over 35,000 miles wide. What is Saturn? This planet's equatorial diameter is only about 400 miles less than Earth's. What is... I'll go for Venus again. Now the last clip. 19 grand is where I sit. This planet never appears more than 28 degrees from the sun in the sky. What's Mercury? So at the end of uh, Double Jeopardy, I have $20,000 and Matt has $3,200. See what the category is. Islands. I think I'll do just five thousand dollars. This is the largest island in the Indian Ocean. The largest island in the Indian Ocean. What is Madagascar? It's Madagascar. So I'm gonna win with twenty-five thousand dollars. It's Riz. I win. See you all for that next segment.